two shots. Yep. You, you shouldn't have the same amount of, you shouldn't have more shots than points. Yeah. And we, we understand, Skip, that he's never going to be an efficient guy. He's not going to be a LeBron. He's not going to be KD, one of these guys, Skip, that if they take 22 shots, they're normally somewhere 12, 13 for 22. They're in, the, you know, high four, they're probably 50, 52, 53%. That's not, that's never going to be Russ. Mm -hmm. Now, to, to his credit, Skip, he only took two three two threes last night. And he missed saw, both. Yeah, he missed both. <laughs> but I think he saw early on that I ain't got that three ball, so I ain't fooling with that. But I thought he he ran the ball. He, he ran the play. Look, Skip, he's a, he's basically, like you say, LeBron is 25 and this, getting up mm -hmm. out of bed. Guy's a triple-double getting out of bed because he's he a ball of energy. Because in order to track down the amount of rebounds that he get, you have to expend. I'm surprised he doesn't cramp up. Is more as much as uh, more than he does because he's chasing everything. Oh, everything. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I, I, I'm gonna give him a C skip. I thought he played okay, but nine or twenty skip. I mean, nine or twenty-two. Nah. Mm -hmm. So I, I gave him a C. I thought they were they were playing well, but it was just too much. Joel Embiid and 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 I thought Ben Simmons did a tremendous job down the stretch also. Mm -hmm. But they're gonna be when I look at it, skip. Uh, Nets, Bucks, Celtics, Heat, Sixers, Raptors. Now, the difference is this year, Skip, remember they got the 7 to 10 play in. Mm -hmm. So now, okay, could they win a game or two in a play in game? Pacers, Sixers, Hawks. Hawks look good. Magic look good. Mm -hmm. Pacers with Sabonis and uh -huh. Oladipo, Brogdon. Mm -hmm. So are they even going to make the playoffs, Skip? You, you feel comfortable saying they're an eight seed? I do not. <laughs> Okay. I do not think they're going to make the playoffs. So I will give Russ a B for last night because he played so hard. Yeah, How can you played, take that away? Yeah, we play hard every game. Every game. He plays as hard as anybody. I still say, in part, he's motivated by triple doubles because he realizes he has to play hard to get the rebounds to get over 10. But he, he just was crazy playing hard last yeah, night. Again, it was 11. an opening game, and he had 11 rebounds. But he had 15 assists which is sensational. Yes. And he and Bradley Beal looked great together. Yes. And they expressed nothing but love for each other after the game. They said it was a joy to play with each other. Even Bradley Beal was just gushing about Russ and, and how much he loves the fire with which he plays because Bradley says, I, I need somebody to push me and, and make me the best, and, and Russ will push you. Yeah. Because he knows, Skip, all he has to do is, like, get out on the break and get to the three-point line. Russ going to push the tempo. He will. They're going to get back in the paint to try to stop him getting. He's going to get easy kicks all, all year long. He's going to get easy kicks. Okay. So, despite this, despite – so so he has a triple-double after three quarters. That, that means now in his career he has 45 career triple-doubles through three quarters. 45. That's nearly four times as many as any other player in the past 25 years because it's insane yes, what he does. it is. So you get to a triple-double after three quarters, 45 times in your career. It's impossibly great, but it gets you what? Nothing. It gets you nothing. But, Skip, see, here's the thing. This is another reason why I gave him a C, and I'm, I'm surprised that you gave him a B. They had a 10-point lead I was going into the that. fourth quarter, mm -hmm. but Russ was minus 12. He was. I agree. So they're up 10, and between Russ and Bradley Beal, somebody has to say no. You, you just have to say, this is our night, and we're going to close it, and mm -hmm. neither could close in the fourth quarter. You know why? They don't have a nuclear weapon, an aircraft carrier like Joel Embiid. No. And that's why I keep telling you, I love the Sixers because of Embiid and Simmons, because it's hard to find two players of that caliber at that height, that size, that kind of impact. Look what Embiid did just in the fourth quarter. He had 15 points, yeah. three rebounds, and two assists in the fourth quarter. He makes five of eight shots, and he makes all five of his free throws in the fourth quarter. And right out of the box, they go on a 15-5 to five run, and all of a sudden you look up, and with 7.37 left in the game, the 10-point lead is gone, and it is tied. And then Joel just, he, he, he just imposed his will on the visiting team. Because they, they don't have yeah. him. He's just too big and too good yeah. and too skilled. Yeah, well, Thomas Bryant, Skip, he tries, he but he tries. just he just doesn't have enough bricks in his back pocket. Can no. the dude start backing you down? I mean, there's nothing you can do. You just can't do anything with them. That's why Doc leaped at the opportunity yeah. to coach them. 
I don't know what they're going to do with Daryl Morey as the GM. Would they trade Ben Simmons for James Harden? I still wouldn't do that. I because, wouldn't do it because okay. I believe I believe Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid are a better pairing I agree. than James Harden. I thought early on you didn't like them together. No, 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 no. I, I love I, them together. I like them more than I would like James Harden mm -hmm. and Joel Embiid. Mm -hmm. I still I, and I still believe in order for them to win a championship, and ultimately that's what you that's what you're going to be judged by. Yep. Ben Simmons is going to have to shoot the basketball. And I'm not talking about layups, and I'm not talking about floaters in the lane. Yep. No, I got you. He tried a couple last night, um, but it wasn't. It wasn't too pretty. <laughs> and then he's two of six from the free throw line, which is not great. But look what, just, he's roll out of bed. He gives you 16, 9, and 7. Yeah. So he's a triple-double waiting to happen, and he just does his effortlessly. With three blocks and two steals I, I got, at 16. It's just who he is. It's what he does. And he defends at a very high level. Yes. Okay, so they take over the game, they win the game, and, and I sat back and said, boy, Russ and Bradley Beal, and I like to, I, I enjoy watching both of them, they look great together. And what's it gonna get you? It's gonna get you the joy of watching them play together yes. because if you're a Wizards fan, you are not going to make it. You're not going to make it, yeah. I'm sorry, because you, you ran down the <laughs> list. As you said, Nets, Bucks, Sixers, Heat, Celtics, Raptors. Okay, well, that's a lot. Remember, the Pacers went 45 and 23 yes. last, last year. And last night, Sabonis had his career game. He had 32, 13, and 5. He, he's, skilled. he's skilled. That's I mean, his career high. People sleep on him because he's in Indiana. And, and albeit against the Knicks last night. But, Skip, but, he's, he but, he's, but he's skilled. He is extremely skilled. So they, are you going to put them in them? Yeah, you are. Yeah. The Hawks had a huge opening night. They have beefed up. I got it. We're going to talk about Trey Young. Oh, I Trey. Ice Trey or my Trey. Don't, do don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. But he was <laughs> tremendous last night. He was as efficient as he's ever been in his life. As anybody's ever been uh, in their that life. That is correct. <laughs> so, so I give you. They're the darlings of the yeah. East, and Rondo's not even healthy right now. But he will help them when he. Oh, so he's not healthy. Yeah, I don't know. What so in other words, so in other words, it, it, over the night we wouldn't have Rondo. Mm, probably not. Play out, neither would we. Yeah, neither <laughs> would the Clippers. But are the Hawks capable of at least being in the play-in tournament? You better believe that. Magic. Are. And how about the Magic? They beat the Heat last night because they're that good. Mark Skip, Markel Fultz. He, I, I'm not saying he's gonna be. He was like, oh yeah, I see why they took him number one. Mm -hmm. But he he no, seemed to have fixed that. Play. Yes. No, I agree. And Fournier led them with 25 points. And Vucevic is really good. Aaron Gordon. And Aaron Gordon is really athletic. Terrence Ross coming up the bench. Ross, they're, they're, they got firepower yes. to him. So are they going to be in this mix? Yes. yes. So, so can the Wizards get in the play-in tournament seven through ten? They better hope that. Skip, I think that's the best they could hope for. Okay. Because I don't think they're going to finish eighth. I just don't. I don't either. Okay. So I say good luck. But. But I say congratulations to the Wizards fans because I would rather watch Russ get a triple-double every night than watch John Wall. That's just me. So I think it was a good trade for the Wizards, just on sideshow, just mm. watchability, marquee value. Your guy Danny Green played 18 minutes yeah, and was minus 27. Night. He was 0 for 4 from 3, picking up where he left off. Oh, oh but you wanted us to get, oh, <laughs> you, you lost Danny Green. Yeah. Well, listen, he's had his, hey, well, be careful now. W what happens? San Antonio Championships, Toronto Championship, L.A. Championship, Philly Championship. Everywhere he goes, he's got that Midas touch. I, I went, but an uh, opening night for us, he did drop 28 last year. He, he was did. letting them threes go. He was good last yeah, year. Yeah, boy, you, now you got Luca coming up tomorrow. And what did he do at Luca last, it was a year ago, November yeah. 1st? He made the three. That, he saved LeBron. No, no, don't do this, Gil. Saved him. <laughs> LeBron! What are you doing? Shoot it! LeBron, Shoot it, LeBron! What are you doing? You're down, you're, you're down three, right? What I'm doing is drawing the defense into me, oh. and then I'm going to kick it. And then he's like, oh, God, how lucky am I? I see Danny Green open. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a story I am here for. Bruce Arians continues to shower Tom Brady with praise, much like Skip and I. We will tell you what he had to say yep. next. No mercy, no mercy.
Thank you.